Hello everyone, my name is Malkin, and I'm here to play some games with you. So we are going to continue our expedition on the Emerged Island. Um, if you saw the end of last episode, we got in a fight the moment we stepped foot on shore. Um, some voodoo pirates told us that there is a curse on the island that rises every 50 years, and the captain here is uh, something to do with that. We need to find the pirate captain. So, with that in mind, I think that we're going to jump right in. Um, I think that of these three challenges, this one might be the best for us. We have now, I believe, Tactician. Yep. So, we have Tactician, we have Beguiler, Quick Thinker, not so much, but we could be fine. And there might be an encounter, which we want to start getting more of to get more resources. Uh, swinging up this direction could be helpful. Uh, there's gold to be found there, but that's not really our goal. So, I do think this is going to be our best bet. With that, let's jump in. So, we hear voodoo pirates doing hard labor and moaning about it. When you expect closer, that you notice they are digging up one of their treasures. We are absolutely going to take that from them. It is a level 2 encounter. We should be totally fine. Uh, we're going to go devious to get the points for it. And so we know from experience that these three are weak to saddened. We discovered that last time. So we need to go ahead and, and take advantage of that. I'm going to, I think, go ahead and do a group insult here. This might not be the best use of her power, but it will give them all a debuff for 25% on speech and attack, which will be very useful to help keep us alive while this second group gets over there. And I do believe that, oops, all right, well, that was silly of me, but it is what it is. Um. How did we get persuasive here? That's curious. Well, I am certainly not going to uh, argue that fact for now. That will give us more speech defense if we can maintain it. So let's try and do this. We're going to go in and loudmouth them, which will help make them angry. And if they're enraged, they yeah, so these two will attack Kiwi, which is great. We are totally okay with that turn of events. And finally, if we lecture... I wonder if... Can be overwritten by their abilities. Eh, let's see what happens. I, I'm curious how this goes. Okay, so he's gone. They're all hurtful. They're sad me on words. And friendly powers now get 25% plus the bonus. So, that'll be our turn. Um, he's gonna attack Kiwi as he kind of has to, as a fumble because her miss percent is pretty high. Going after Yvonne does make sense. She is one of our more powerful characters and they'll move towards us. They're effectively divided, which I like. And we should now be able to, see if I take her here, these other two can take them out. And that keeps them from coming around which effectively divides them, which I kind of like. Um, so I guess first, so send attack powers decrease by 25%. That's fine, we don't use attack power on her anyway. We'll go ahead and make him sad too. If we're terrified, then yeah, suck it. So, all right. And of course, we're going to have him be enraged. Well. Yeah, I think that'll be the best bet. So we shall enrage him. Alright, so they're gone. Um, we've taken very little relative health loss. Put here here to defend against these guys. Uh, so we have Terrify, we have Friendly. Um, take half damage from Excited. So... They're doing right now devious ability, so that attack damage isn't as helpful if we give them terrified for the negative attack. Uh, we could do impress to make them easier to kill next time. And that will, in fact, do more damage to them. Let's do that. I like that idea better. He thinks very highly of himself. And that'll be our turn.
All right, Port Agatha has in fact been. Oh, that's shoot. All right. <clears throat> well, she said uh, speed power decreased by twenty five percent. That's a little rough, but it could be worse. Um, so what we can do? So she is impressed half damage, but enraged is plus fifty percent. Um, okay, so we need to get her in a better spot to, if we can somehow excite her, that would, hmm, we have extra speech. Okay, so how do I do this? We could try for deride. Which would probably kill her outright and heal us. He has 90. If we deride, that is going to be not as good as I'd hoped for. Let's see, so let's try this. Let's terrify. Knock him out entirely. Very confused. Get out of here with your silly confusion. Now we can, let's see, yeah, I think Dried will actually wipe her out entirely, which I think I'm okay with. <clears throat> really just one word just knocked out her entire world to live, which is a little sad in a lot of ways. So let's try and excite her, I think that'll be pretty solid. Excited is going to be a great debuff for us. It's going to add even more attack to make his life a living hill. And we'll enter. Yeah, so this is, again, pretty straightforward. Um, very little about this battle was was extremely difficult. Um, okay, so if we can impress him, it's minus defense. Which should let us very easily wipe out him this coming round. Yeah, that should very easily do this. Positively puzzled. As we did 142 damage to him. And that's gonna be plus 10 grit, plus two, or plus five more grit, plus two more speech power for a total of 10 and four. <laughs> I love breaking those little hearts. Fools like them don't didn't deserve any better. So, all right, <clears throat> the pirates drop the treasure and go away. Yeah, a treasure hunt and a collect, which is going to be huge. This treasure hunt, as we can see, is going to be worth a lot of stats and gold for us. I am very happy how it turned out. Um, all right, we sell eleven. We run out here to get research and run up here to grab that nature challenge, which might be the better bet to do. I actually like that idea better, so let's do that. An interesting blue crystal, such a rare crystal is of great scientific value. You wonder what such a crystal does on an island like this. Yes, because its activities are my first question mark. Yeah, we'll go with that. <clears throat> More study, perfect. Agatha has in fact leveled up, which will get her inspiring course, which is a friendly ability, will hit all of us, or maybe all of them. Uh, gains power while off cooldown. Okay, that'll be useful. Uh, we also get either archaeologist symbolism or tactician offense. Well, we want to go archaeologist. We want to get to that level four. That will, from our other abilities, our um, our crew, give us some perks. So we have higher spirit, better stuff all around, and entourage. Um, yeah, whenever, I guess, I guess not quite, quite yet. We need a little five engineer to get the plus two study, but oh well. That'll be fine. Okay, um, status, technique challenge. So you can see here, this is a two to get over here. This is a one and one to get here anyway. So this will be a better bet for us to go this route, unless there's something really amazing over here. We'll probably wanna grab that. Um, Individually scouting when someone encountered a physically demanding challenge. Uh, I think the best physically demanding person or physical person is going to be Kiwi. 
Kiwi was scouting the dense jungle on the emerged island when suddenly Kiwi finds something extraordinary. Some voodoo monkeys are toying around with a remarkable item, a voodoo ritual book. Now that's a treasure Agatha might be interested in studying. Sadly, the monkeys notice you and make away with great haste. You could try to follow them, but it won't be easy. We are, of course, going to follow them. Oh, we 100% will absolutely take that. <clears throat> Starts chasing the monkeys at full speed. Cheeky buffoons take an overgrown path. Kiwi's feet expertly fly from one trunk to another while speeding through the jungle. What a show of agility and strength. Kiwi's even faster than those monkeys and gains ground on them. Odds for a coming challenge increase by 30%. Plus one study, plus two study, and plus one collect. All right. What's this? The voodoo monkeys had enough of kiwi and start throwing coconuts at kiwi. Big twist, these ones are actually fresh. Kiwi could take some time collecting coconuts for supplies, but that would look embarrassingly silly. Well, she is a glutton, apparently. Uh, we do get the supplies, but it'll be minus two. For a collective, I think, minus... Hey, food trump treasure. You know what? I get it. It's pina coladas and you need them, so... Looks ridiculous, but hey, no one is looking. This is it. Both Kiwi and the monkeys are getting tired. This last test of strength and agility will determine whether Kiwi can triumph, will triumph, over these black art baboons. Give the final chase. And thanks to our insane survivalist amount, thanks to our grit, thanks to our athlete, like a jaguar, we are going to get it no problem. Not even a roll. Amazing. With the final chase, Kiwi corners the monkeys. Tired from the run, they give up and donate the voodoo ritual book as a tribute. That's right, monkeys. Praise your superior, Kiwi the Chaser. Beautiful. That is fantastic. Look at all that. Got an insight for it. Got lots of renown. Got campaign, study, and collect from a very level. Three survivalists succeeds on the adventure wheel, which is going to be more points for us on survival adventurist. Nice. Yes, please. Which, nicely enough, is going to be a survival challenge here, hopefully. But there might be an epic encounter. So, however, ironically enough, we are totally fine on supplies. Which makes this place down here interesting. Um, we might need to just come here and hope for the, a decent epic challenge. <laughs> Let's try it, see what happens. Okay, a pristine mangrove. This area seems untouched by any voodoo work. This means that even these voodoo goons couldn't get past this area. Whatever you're going to find here is going to be very dangerous. Should the crew continue? Onwards, we are here for the adventure. The mangrove stands before the crew. It's both magnificent and scary in its untouched nature. After taking some time to observe the saltwater swamp, someone moves forward to say something. Let's move out, but I'm not taking the lead. Um, a naturalist. Ah, oh, this is sad. Okay. Um, minus twenty speech on this expedition. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Okay, well, um, we're gonna try for it because could get one study for it, but I think that it's worth it to try and go for it. If we had a tool for this, oh, we got it. We actually got it. Okay, one in four chance we got it. Wait a minute. There is most certainly some impressive life form present in these mangroves. Agatha follows the clues in a curious frenzy, while the crew is having a hard time keeping up with her. Where is Agatha leading us? Five more study and one more supply, which we can't lose the supply, but. Um. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be difficult. Agatha's little treasure hunt leads to a very, very murky the mangrove with a strong current. It's gross, it's tough to go through, and you'll have a very hard time taking all your supplies with you. Minus one resolve, minus two supplies. Uh, 
Oh man. Okay, um, we have a lot of supplies. It'd be nice to have a chance. I'd risk one extra supply to try to have a chance to get that stuff, but we've already been lucky this, this trip. We know there's a treasure here. We need treasure. But that lack of resolve, I don't know if that's worth it, guys. Like, I just don't know if we can afford to, to lose more resolve here. Um... Oh, this is hard. This is so hard. I just don't think we can do it. I think we have to back off. This is a 1 in 6 chance, and with this being so low, we have one more adventure after this one. We can't be spending resolve like it's my, like it's candy. We'll just take our study and get out of there. Kiwi holds onto the priorities you set and orders the crew to move on. I, I am sad about that. I am not happy with my choice there, but honestly, it's the best choice. So, um, we we have plenty of supplies, so this is a bad choice for us. We'll even get an extra supply by going here. Yeah, unique the ecology of the Emerge Island makes interesting study in biological. Okay, yeah. the unique ecology of the Emerge Island makes it an interesting a subject of biological study. Let's do some research. The crew takes notes and continues exploring. An interesting location for sure. Three study points. Okay. Um, works for me. We have 27 study tokens so far. Alright. There's an encounter over there we might consider going to. Nothing in these two, which is really depressing. Um, there's gold up here. Diplomat archaeologist. We have diplomat... We have Archaeologist. Conversely, came down here, we could swing up, grab this, head down that way. But what is up here? With these being so empty, I think coming down this way is going to be our best bet. I like that choice better. Let's grab some supplies. Or grab some status, rather. A pile of discarded bracelets, probably left here by the pirates because they do not contain any valuable materials. One of them sure looks like a status symbol. We are defining the status as we go forward. Uh, resources, supplies, might be an encounter, an engineer, a rogue. Okay, I like this choice a lot. Definitely want to try for there. If we swing down this direction, head up this way, I think that'd be the best bet. <clears throat> All right. As you walk through a wooded area, you are suddenly face to face with a strange voodoo pirate. You are both surprised to see one another, but you see he's not alone. He has two pet monkeys. You sense you cannot leave things as they are. Approach things in a friendly manner, or approach things in a hateful manner? Um, let's try hateful to see if he starts aggressive. And if he does start aggressive, maybe we can use devious. Alright. So, he has four pet monkeys, it looks like. All right, <clears throat> so how to best do this? I'm gonna get over here, get both of them with the loud mouth, pull aggro on her, and plus get that 30 grip. That'll be a decent hit on both of them. Let's go ahead and do that. The biggest thing is always gonna be to try and knock as many people out as possible. Um. Let's see, so inspiring course. Confident attacks enemies with an target cone. Mm. You can lecture, which might actually take down both of these. Or if we get this, we might we'll hit all three of them with lecture, which will give us more speech power. Because these have immunity to impressed. Okay, immunity to impressed. That becomes important. Um, and he is weak to saddened. I wonder if we can knock him out entirely. We can. All right. Let's just take that. Um, 103. Wow. All right. 
And I'm going to, I think, try and take these guys out too. Oh, well, they're sad. Not the best in the world. I'd rather not take that hit, but it'll be okay. She is, in fact, our tank, so her getting attacked will not be the end of the world. Hmm. That did not feel good, but it'll be okay. So mean. These mean guys. Knock both them out. They are very confused. <laughs> which happens. Um, Alright, we have plus speech defense now, which is great. We can try for. Try for that. Taunted and ruffled, which will be awesome. Um, Group insult won't be as nice to ride. Hmm. Well, the ride will get half the spirit back. Um, impressed won't do anything. And attack is not high enough to make much of a difference, so. Hmm. If we attack this one, they'd only get one attack next turn for action economy. I have to consider that. I think I like that better. Yeah, because one action almost certainly can't take them out, or take us out, which protects us, so. him out entirely. I actually wasn't expecting that. Um, I was going to try and get someone else because, okay, so it did go to Kiwi, and normally it might go to who uh, deals the finishing blow, but in this case, Kiwi did get the grit and speech power, which I definitely wanted to put on her. So, the voodoo pirate smiles and bows, and his monkeys do the same. He apologizes, he has no time to chat, but he won't alert the others. Fantastic. Well, all that for a little bit of stuff, but that's fine. And I think uh, best best will swing up and around here. Uh, I think I'll do that real fast. I'm going to try and put a cut in here pretty soon because I am trying to keep these videos around 20 to 30 minutes long and we're already at 20 to 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and do this challenge. Smoke is rising from the horizon. After a short walk, you discover there's a campfire with a bearded man next to it. You introduce yourselves and listen to the man's story. The man is a captain of a ship named the Stubborn Guppy that was sailing towards America with many goods on board. All of the captain's crew either died or joined Captain Roche, but the captain is determined to continue his journey to America when Alan sinks once more while the ship floats. The captain has but one request. Well, listen, of course. The captain's still some supplies left, but one of his crates has gotten stuck high up in a tree. If you could get it out, that would be fantastic. Agatha will make a neat pulley. She is an engineer. Wow. Um, I just want to resolve, but a 9 out of 10 chance to do it. This is not XCOM, though we're close to failing. Alright, perfect. Agatha constructs a neat pulley. When the crate is a few meters from the ground, the rope snaps and the crate falls to the ground. Some goods are damaged, but most of the video is okay. The bearded man is very happy. He will spread the word when he gets to America and give you some of the supplies that were in the crate. Disturbing and interesting. So study, campaigns, bonuses. Beautiful. More and more of all of it. Uh, we'll do two more. Um, see where this puts us. And then hop into this for next time. So let's go ahead and grab this. There's a clearing in the middle of the jungle. Or middle of the forest. You first assume it is a natural clearing. Agatha notices it is actually the place where a village must once have been. Excavating here could reveal some research. Let Agatha set up a site. 
An excavation site is set up with Agatha as leader, who determines where to dig. Soon enough, old foundations and items are discovered. What a discovery. Alright. So, even more stuff. <clears throat> While walking through the Caribbean jungle, the crew finds a place filled with coral. It seems some places on the island appear more affected by the ocean than others. There are some valuable looking corals, but mostly just very interesting ones. Okay, do we want to risk a resolve for a little bit more stuff? We already have 41 tokens. It's so 50 50 to a minus one resolve. And like I said earlier, I don't know if that's worth it. This is. Mm. And before there's a f five times more likely chance we failed than succeeded. Now it's, it's in our favor. I'll feel really stupid if this fails, but I also want to make some risks because losing out on that made me a little sad. So we'll take the risk. Come what may. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I, what what came may. Um, turns out to be disaster. Yvonne gets poisoned by one of the corals. That was not what I wanted to happen. But, say, Lavi. Um, not good. So, I lied. I'm going to do one more. I grab this status, then we'll call it quits. Uh, you can see here, because this is two to go up here, this is zero and one. It's actually cheaper, supply-wise, to go around than go through. Uh, it's that little... Bit of rock, I guess, is how you might be able to tell that stuff. I'm not exactly sure who's going to go through a rock here and you go through lakes here, but regardless. Um, go and grab the status, and then we'll call it quits. Find a beautiful green crystal, such a cr rare crystal can give you a status. We take it. We found two similar crystals now. You wonder if there's any connection between them. We put the two crystals together, but nothing new is discovered. Interesting. I wonder if this is the crystal, the next crystal. It might be, because we found a research, we found a status. Alright, well we're going to put a cut in here. We're going to put a cut in here. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. This is definitely a harrowing, harrowing experience. We're on a knife's edge here with Resolve. I'm not liking being down to three. That is painful. Um, but we will prevail, we will survive and it will all be good. So, as always, have a fantastic time, and game on.